Hey gang, welcome to uh, another toy review. I can't remember what exactly. When was the last time I reviewed a toy? There was the Sweet Tooth and there was the Turbo Toys. Well, now I'm going to review something different from the Cars and Planes toy line. Now everybody knows that I'm a fan of uh, Cars and Planes. A lot of people didn't like this series, but I actually do. And today I'm going to be showing you something very interesting. It's very rare. There's only one store that sells it. And that would be the Disney store. In the Cars and Planes universe, they have a die cast line for those movies. There's a Mattel toy line and a Disney store toy line. The Disney store is more for collectors because the characters come in display cases. I mean, it, you're able to take them out, but I think you have to screw them out or something in order to get them out. Anyway, uh, they're still child's toys that you can still play with, but they're more for collectors and they're more expensive than the Mattel toy line. Mattel toy line is die cast like Hot Wheels, just slightly bigger. Anyway, uh, this one, however, that I have is from Planes Fire and Rescue, and it is not in the uh, Mattel toy line as far as I know. It might be soon in another wave. I don't know, the first wave for that toy line just came out, and they released the, most of the toys for the, for the Disney Store toy line. Well, anyway, this is one of the larger ones. You know, it, it took four movies for this to happen, but it finally has. There is a... Well, I think for Cars, they were going to release Trev Diesel. I can't remember if they actually did. They kind of did, but I can't remember where. Anyway, here from Planes Fire and Rescue is Muir. Or Mir. I can't remember how you pronounce it. Uh, this was the first time since I had ever been to the Disney store. I collected the uh, Mattel toy line, but for this guy I made an exception, because he's only available in the Disney store toy line, as far as I know. Um, he's a train, which is pretty obvious, and since I knew there was going to be a train, I, I only found out about this guy like a few days ago. I had seen him in the trailers, but I didn't know they were actually going to release him. And I am so excited. I had already opened the box, but I'm showing you the box now, so you won't forget. I mean, not that you won't forget, sorry. Um, so that you will, can get an idea of how collectors are supposed to do this. Um, I've already screwed him out, so let's go ahead and open the box. Just do it from this side. Yeah, I left the uh, little... S now, just so you know, these... Uh, larger toys. I don't know if the smaller ones. This is the only uh, collector's toy that I have from Disney Store. Um, I don't know if the rest of them do this, but I know the deluxe ones probably will. Anyway, here he is against the uh, backdrop. He's a uh, steam train, a western steam train, I think. I think he's, the, he's supposed to be an attraction for Piston Peak. I'm not sure. He's one of the only steam trains I've seen. The other one was from Planes, but they didn't release that one. Anyway, whoops. Uh, if you want, if you can leave these unscrewed, but you can leave the train unscrewed, and you can. it's best to leave these in just in case your kids are done playing with them. They can put them in the box, put them on display. Um, he's for ages 3 and up, so he is playable too. Costs like $20 at Disney Store. Uh, I have seen him available on Amazon, but I don't know if, if they want you to get him that way, because it's more expensive, I think. Anyway, here's Mu here's Mir, the steam train from Planes 2, and I like this guy. I, I love him. I, I don't know if he's going to have a big part in the movie or not, but if he's being released as a toy, he's probably got a slightly larger role in the story. That's what I'm assuming. I'm not sure. Um, this is something really cool. The drive wheels actually move. It says on the box, drive wheels actually move. And that's, there's something I 
actually wondered. Um, in the actual movie, Muir is going to have coaches and a cold tender. So I'm wondering, how do cars fit in the coaches? Oh, that's right. I should be able to know that from Cars 2. They were inside Stevenson, the bullet train. So they've shown each type of train. They've shown a diesel in Cars, an electric in Cars 2, a rail, a high rail vehicle, the galloping gear grinder in Cars 2, and planes, and the steam trains in Planes and Planes 2. This is the train from Planes 2, Fire and Rescue, and like I said, I love this guy. The, the drive wheels actually work. The side rods move. And if the kids are done playing with them, just just fit them on the stand. Just fit them on the plastic pads if you can, and uh, he won't be able to crush the ground. So, this is the very first time I ever collected this type of toy, but, oh my god. Disney, thank you so much for releasing this guy. I am happy with this guy. I know that I've been collecting the Mattel toy line, and that's what I'm going to stick with. But if there's a character that I have to get the Disney, that I have to go to the Disney store to get, I will gladly do it. But I mean, trains are very special to me, so I made an exception for Muir here. I'm happy with this guy. I love him. The uh, side rods actually move. He's got his eyes in. He's smiling. He's a happy little train. Uh, well, a big train, because compared to the smaller cars... Uh, well, I think the Deluxe train... If they release a train for Deluxe, I think it act it's more size accurate compared to the... I think it's actually more size accurate. There's the back. I don't know why they didn't... Well, I guess the coal tender would have made it more expensive, but I'm just I'm fine with just the engine. That's fine with me. Uh, if they release a little train set, that that'd be cool too. Though I think that would be a little more expensive. Uh, but I love this guy. I'm glad Disney again. Thank you so much for releasing this guy. This is one customer that is satisfied. This is one customer you have definitely satisfied. Uh, so, um, but, uh, if South Park makes fun of you again, please take it easy. Uh, anyway, uh, that's my Muir review. So, moms and dads, I hope you enjoyed, and I'm pretty sure at every Disney store you can pick this guy up, and for $20, and you can display him or not, the kid, either way, you can just, when the kids are done playing with him, you can just fit him on the stand, put him back in the box, and you can just look at him if you want. They're great for kids, great for adults. I would definitely recommend this toy line to anyone who lo who actually likes the Cars and Planes movies. And for those who don't, which apparently is the majority of the world. Hmm. That's all i got to say to you. So, anyway. Um, this is Joker. This has been JokerFan45, and I'll see you around. Toot toot. See you around, kids. Remember. I'm Disney Store exclusive as of now. Remember, he's Disney exclusive. Disney Store exclusive as of now, but just be. But if you want a smaller, cheaper version, be on the lookout. I don't know if they're gonna do it, but if you definitely want him for sure, go to Disney Store, pick him up. Signing off.